Okay, good afternoon class. So uh, we're starting off with, uh, as promised, the Bod Mass. Book D, Worksheet 2. Bod Mass Book D, Worksheet 2. So this is Bod Mass Book D, Worksheet 1. Okay, you have to do the whole exercise. Okay. So what's your first answer? 35. 35. The next one? 3. The next one? 4. The next one? 5. Look at number 3. The, the answer is number 3. Number 5. Um, so, it's not odd numbers. So it's odd adding. Oh yes, but I got the odd on the board now. Okay. So let's mark the odd first. Otherwise it's going to go 1 up, 1 down. 1. Doesn't make sense. Any problems with number 5? Yes, my girl. Number 5, any problems? You got four. Okay, now, now the question was, is there a problem? And then nobody gave me an answer. So number three, you have to do that first. So it's one plus 60 divided by four is 15. Divided by four. That's going to give you 16 divided by four, which is four. So who gave an answer of three? Oh, I see. So let's go to number five. Is number five four? No. Okay, number five is what? Five. Five. And number seven is? Eleven. Any problems with number five? No. Number seven? No. Okay. So let's carry on. Right. Good time. Okay. okay. More. Okay. What's your answer to number nine? Seventy-two. Seventy-two. Number eleven. Negative three. Okay, number two. Now go back to number two now. Number two. Three. Number four. Let's go to number nine. Any issues there? Yes, okay. So, so according to part mass brackets first. So eight divided by four is two. Forty-nine divided by seven is seven. So that's going to give you? 9 times 80 is 72, which make that good. Where did you go wrong? Um, I forgot to do the all the calculations in brackets. Okay. So what was your answer? 56, 58? 180. 180. Number 11, any issues there? No? I'll just check it. That is 15 minus 17 is 2. 5 minus 2 is 3. 3 plus 8? Yeah, negative 3 is good. Um, number 2, any issues there? No? Number 2. So it's going to be 2 times 5 is 10. So you do the brackets, the inner bracket first. So it's going to be 10 minus 12. What's the 15 minus 5? Uh, 10? 5. 12 minus 5 is 10 minus 7 is 
Where did you go wrong? Um, so, my fault. I'm listening. Uh, I think it's with the email packet. In a radio, read for me your first line you have. My first line is 10 minus, uh, 12 minus 10. Then I have... 12 minus 10? Yes, sir. In your first line? Bring your book, let me see. Well, that is 10. Now, where's the 15? You drop the 15. That's your mistake. You, you, you only have 12 minus 10. Any problems with number 4? You guys just listen, eh? So, we now move on. You don't tell me there's a problem in the previous sum. Any problems with number four? No. no. Right, let's move on. Number six, any problems here? Sorry, number six is answer first. Is what? 116. 160. 160. 160, yes, next one. 100. The next one? Four. Four. The next one? Ten. Ten. And the last one? Five. Five. Any problems with number six? No. Yes? I have 180. 180. Right. Read for me your first line you have. So you did that first, first yes? Good. Carry on. Five times four times eight, yes? And then 20 times eight. So 20 times eight is 160, which is correct. Oh. You're multiplying it. Okay. Any problems with number eight? No? Number 10? No? Number 12? Yes, okay. Who's uh, saying yes? Somebody said yes, who said yes? Nobody. Right, number 13? 13. Right, go for it. What do you have in your, in your, in your book, Michael? My 9 minus 6. In your first line. Why is 6 in your first line? That needs to be done first. So it's 9 minus 7. Minus 6 minus 5. This is supposed to be a negative number. So it's going to be 9. 7 minus 6? 1. 1 minus 5? Negative 4. So it's minus? Oh, no, it's not negative. So negative times a negative is a positive, okay? We're still going to do this. We're supposed to have changed these numbers already. So it's going to be 9 plus 9, 4. Which is 13. Which makes this wrong. The answer is 30. Who got 13? Okay. But I don't think there's a fair one at this point. Because uh, shouldn't have done um, the work on that as yet. Okay. And the last one? Five. Five. You all got five. Who didn't get five? Right. What do you have? So hang on, hang on. Let's just put this down. Okay. Right. Read your first line. Yeah. So you did this first, okay? So it's going to be twenty-four. All right. Two. What do you have here? I say bracket 11 plus bracket 8 minus 24. How do you get 24? You must first say that's going to be 2. That is going to be 24 minus 2. Divided by 6. Where's these two? You didn't mention that. They're using a calculator to do. Okay. So you must have that written in.
Must be divided by what do you have in your second bracket? Um, bracket 8 minus bracket 7 times 6 minus 17. But you could have divided this, you could have multiplied this was already at this point. Okay? Carry on. So you got bracket 11 plus negative 16 divided by 6. Negative 16. Yes, okay, so you're taking that away, no? Then you got 8 minus 24 divided by 6. So that is your first line, your previous line, no? So your mistake is you subtracted that. But according to Bartmas, what should you have done first? I suppose you have done it. That's your mistake. Okay. Now let's go through the sum, uh, the answer here. So that's divided by eight minus that's going to give you forty-two minus seventeen. Three two one plus three two one five. Not twenty-five. Divided by five. Okay. So again, that needs to be done first, and that was your mistake. So it's 11 plus, open the bracket. The only time you drop the bracket is one term inside the bracket. So it's 8 minus 4 divided by, that needs to be done first again, 8 minus 5. So now it gives you 11 plus 4 divided by 3. So that's going to give you 15 divided by 3 is, which makes 5. Correct. The answer that the guys had earlier on is correct. Okay. So watch that again. Your body mass is of utmost importance. Alright. Did I give you number three to do? No, we didn't do this yet. Okay. So, at this point, we're going to look at squares and cubes. We have done that already. Not so. Just to refresh your memory, what is 1 squared? 1 times 1, which is 1. 2 squared? 2 times 2, which is? 3 squared? 9. 5 squared? 25. 7 squared? 49. 10 squared? 100. 9 squared? 81. 6 squared? 36. And so on and so on. 8 squared is 64. Right. So let's look at one cube. What's one cube? One times one times one, which is? Two cubed. Two times two times two, which is eight. Uh, three cubed. Three times three times three is twenty-seven. Four cubed. Four times four times four, which is sixty-four. Five cubed. One twenty-five. 6 cubed, 2, 1, 6, and so on and so on. Not so? So now with that information, we're now going to look at the following sums here. Okay. We're looking at the odd numbers on page 3, and um, uh, odd numbers worksheet 3. Okay. Let's look at the first one. 1 squared plus 2 squared plus 3 squared plus 4 squared. Okay, so write this sum down quickly. Um, okay. So busy writing the sum down. No, no, just, just write the sum down. Are you still busy writing the sum down? Uh, 
Okay. So looking at the first one, what is one squared? One times one times one times one, which is one. Two squared? Three squared? Nine. Four squared? Sixteen. So one plus four is? Five. Plus nine is? Fourteen. Fourteen. And fourteen plus uh, sixteen is? Thirteen. You all understand? Yes, sir. Right. Now I want you guys to do number three and five. You guys want to do number three and five. Guys, done with number three? Okay. Okay, number three quickly. So what is four squared? Sixteen. Three squared? Nine. Plus, if there's no sign between six and a bracket, what does that mean? Multiplication. So it's six multiplied by. One squared? Two squared? Four. Do we look over there? It's going to be 16 minus 9 plus. 4 plus 1 is? 5. five. So it's 6 times 5. So what needs to be done first is the multiplication, not so? Yes, sir. So just multiply this. 6 times 5 is? 30. So it's 16 minus 9 plus 30. What is 16 minus 9? What did we say according to part mass? We can interchange addition and subtraction with whatever comes first from the lift. So what comes first? Subtraction. 16 minus 9? 7. 7. And 7 plus 30 is? Okay, who got that right? So within us, mustn't you uh, do the subtraction addition? Oh, is that? You go. So you did addition first. If you're going to say minus 9 plus 30, remember the sign is part of the term. Negative 9 plus 30 is 21. And 21 plus 16 is 37. What you guys do is you say negative 9 plus 30 is negative 39. Is that what you wrote? What did you write? What did you write? No, sir. It was my own calculation. Calculation. Remember, you can interchange addition and subtraction as you find it in the line. Okay. Yes, my God. Blessing for what? Blessing. Okay. Any confusion here? No. Right. Do for me the next one quickly. Number five.
Are you guys finished? No. Moving too fast today. Okay. You guys having a problem understanding what's happening? Here? No. Now you understand what to do. So what do you guys need to find the answer here? Yeah? Sorry? 36. Who got 36? What did you guys get? 36 or? 13? 4. Let's see. So first we're going to apply the squares and, and, and those things, okay? Expose. So what's 2 squared? Yes. Sorry? 44. Okay. So 2 squared? 4, Four into 6 squared? 36. Minus open brackets? 9 minus 4. 4 squared. I first need to get this to be one term before I apply the squared. Okay? You all okay with that? Right. So what's going to be done now is the brackets within. So it's going to be 36 minus. What's 9 minus 4? Five. 5. So what is 5 squared? 25. What's 36 minus 25? 11. 11. Okay. But you got 36 minus 25. Right, you're subtracting wrong, no? So it's going to be 11. 4 times 11? 44. Right, you guys got it? Right. Let's do another one. Number seven. There's number seven. Okay. So what's your answer you guys got here? 
Sorry? 71. 71. Anybody got the different answer in? Let's check. So it's going to be 125, 5 cube, 9 cube, uh, 3 cube, 27, minus 27. So 125 minus 27 is 98. Minus 27 is 1. Right. You guys okay with that? Yes, Any confusion here? Yes, no? What did I do now? Undo. Number nine. What's your answer for number nine? Okay, you guys still busy? For those are done, you can move on to number eleven. I'm going to do nine and eleven together, okay? So yesterday we did skills, um, we did adding and subtracting of unequal denominators yesterday. That was skills 7 and 8. We did both. So I didn't give you the homework for that. So now why when you left here you didn't ask me why didn't I give you the homework for it? Sorry? So it doesn't make sense. Why I, I would explain to you the, the work and don't give you homework on it. Because what's going to happen is you're going to forget the work now. Yes, my God. Okay. It's probably a mistake from my side. Okay. So your homework for tomorrow is skilled 7 and 8 on page 48. Skilled 7 and 8 on page 48. 48. You can do everything. Okay. Sorry? Later, my God. You put the homework one time on the group. So there's other homework to come. Okay? 
All right, let's do number nine. What do you guys get for number nine? 211. Number 11? Anybody got the answer for number 11? Not yet. Okay, so I'm going to give you a chance to, to do that quickly. The number's large that you're working with. Hmm? Kind of, okay. So I'll give you a chance. I get 91. Who said 211? How did you get 211? Read for me your first line you have there. My first line is 8 times 27. Yeah. 5 yeah. 6 times 27 minus 5. Here's your mistake. It's 120. Check if you got 5 cubed there. That's your mistake. Anybody else got a different answer? Yes, my God? Is it final answer? Yes. Right, read for me your first line. 8 times 27 divided by 4 yeah. is equal to 61 plus 6 times 61. How do you get 61? 8 times 27 yeah. divided by 4. He's going to give you? So 8 times 27 is 244 divided by 4. Here's your mistake. 27 times 8 is 216. You multiplied. Anybody else made a mistake? Okay, so 91 is correct. What's your answer to 11? Still working out, okay, no problem. I just need the answer from someone, then I can start doing the work.
Does anybody have an answer to number 11? Yes, Michael? 60. Who agrees with 60? Anybody else got somebody else? Yes, Michael? 115. Who else got 115? What do you have? 50. You got 50. 150. 15. 115. 115. 115. Who got 115? Okay, I think 115 is correct. Let's see. Maybe both of you made the same mistake. Or? 115 is correct. Let's check. So it's 2 cubed plus 216 minus 3 cubed is 27 plus 8 minus 2. Uh, 2 times 17 is 34. Not so? Cubed divided by 2. 2 cubed, I could have written 8 here. No? So it's 8 plus 216 minus. Uh, 27 plus 8. 27 plus 8 is 35. Minus 34 gives you 1. So 1 cubed divided by 2. So what is 1 cubed? 1. So it's 8 plus 216 minus 1 divided by 2. This is going to go into fractions now. So that's going to give you 8 plus 215 divided by 2. Not so. Did nobody get this? The 6 cubed. Is 6 times 6 is 36. Times 6. 6 times 6 is 36. 18, 19, 20, 21. 2, 1, 6. 27, 8, 34. 7 times 2 is 34, correct? So the 2, 1, 5 divided by 2 is going to give you 1. And. Sorry, 2, 1, 5. 15 is going to be 7, 5. 1 of 7, 5. So it's 8 plus 107, 5. 8 plus 7 is 15. So it's 115, 5. That's the answer then. Let me just check if I'm correct. 2 cubed uh, minus. Oops. I know you're not supposed to be using a calculator. Mm -hmm. I'm just checking if I'm correct, otherwise, I need to find my mistake. Because I nobody got my answer, no? You got it. Who else got it? Sorry? So somebody got this answer of 115,5? Yes. yes, okay. Now I feel better about myself. Minus. Open brackets, 3 cubed. Plus 2, the raise to the exponent 3. Minus 2 times 17, raised to the exponent 3, divided by 2. 1, 1, 5, comma 5. So it's good. Okay. Somebody want to explain where they went wrong? Anybody? Yes, Michael? You got 8, yes? 8 plus 8 is 105. So you got 105 here. 108. Did you mistake? 6 times 6 times 6 is 216. Okay, anybody else? Want to share where they went wrong? Yes, Michael. I got the same as well. I got 108 too. How do you get 108? Because a 6, a six cubed is 6 times 6 times 6. Which is 36 times 6. And 36 times 6 is 216. Oh, because I did 36 times 3. 36 times 3. Yeah. Oh. Anybody else? Alright, I take it you guys aren't done with number 13, or are you done with number 13? 
Right. Uh, we transfer to number 13 quickly. At this point, I'm going to pause the video. Are you guys finished? Yes, sir. yes okay. Let's do this. The first answer? 124. You all agree with that? Yes, sir. We've got a different answer. So I don't have to do this one. Number 15, the next one. Yes? It is Osnard. If did you get 124? So? Alright, you read your line what you have. <coughs> Go for it. I uh, know you got the answer. You told me twice now you got the answer. So read what you have in the first line. 125 years minus. What? Mm -hmm. So how did you get the right answer here or the wrong answer? Hmm? That makes sense. Because so what is 8 squared? 64. 64 years. Minus. What's 4 cubed? Carry on, Michael. 4 cubed. 4 cubed. 64 minus 1 squared. 1. <clears throat> so that needs to be done first. 125 minus 64. What's 64 minus 1? 63. What's 64 minus 63? 1. This is 124. So you lied to me. So how did you get 124 if you got the wrong answer there? That doesn't make sense. Huh? But if you mix up the numbers, then you must get the wrong answer. Isn't it? But anyway. If you get it wrong, you must tell me I got it wrong. Then I can help you. But don't lie to me and say you got it right. I just want to see you. We've heard that like four times a year by one class. This is not the second time. Either. The first time in this class. So you say you don't understand? I'll try and explain again. Okay. People number 15, who got an answer to number 15? 266. Who agrees with 266? Ah. Anybody else? Not done, okay. So we have one answer so far, 266. Six. Okay, let's work with, with 266 six and let's see what's correct. <coughs> Divided by 11 plus 9 divided by 8. That's going to give us 33. Right. So it's going to be 33 times 125 divided by 11 plus 9 divided by 8. Now 33 divided by 11 is 3 times 125 plus 9 divided by 8. 125 times 3, it's going to give you 15, 6, 7, 175, plus 9 divided by 8, 
175 plus 9 is 4, carry 1 is 8, 184. 184 divided by 8. 8 goes into 16 twice, uh, 18 twice, carry 2. So I get 23. Okay. Let's just check if it's correct. You can't check it. Who got 23? Nobody. You get 23. Okay, the bell rang, so I don't have time to check now. Right, I'll try and uh, locate my mistake and I'll just correct it in the video, okay? People, your homework is going to be book T, worksheet 3, the even numbers, okay? Enjoy the rest of your day. Right, I located the mistake at this point. I wrote 125, supposed to have been 20. So it's 23. So 33 divided by 11 is 3. And 3 times 25. I'll give you the final answer now. So that's going to be uh, 3 times 25 is 75. Plus 9 divided by 8. 75 plus 9 is. 84. Right, but it's still not that answer they got. But sir, yes? how did you get from 33 divided by 11 instead of... 33 divided by... 25. The same. The same as it. 33 divided, multiplied by 25 divided by 11 is the same as saying 33 divided by 11 times 25. The same oh. thing. Oh, okay. So the yeah. answer is still... No, it's just, I think I'm still making this, I'm not. So that is plus divided by 8. 48 is the answer. Yes, so it's 2 cubed. 8 plus 2 cubed. 2 times 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 2 cubed. 2 So that bracket here before divided by 8, I must get to 3, 8, 4. 384. I'm missing something in Sorry? You can go to class, I'm just trying to show them. Come inside. And then you sanitize, you sanitize everybody else. Thanks yeah. Thanks a lot. Yeah. I'll do first, which is 3 times 125 plus 9 divided by 8. I think my mistake was here. I wrote 25, it's 125. So 125 times 3, 
I'll give you 15, 6, 7, 375 plus 9 divided by 8. There we go, 384 is the number we're looking for, divided by 8. It's going to give you 32, it's 4, 6. It goes into 64. Three eight four. Three eight four divided by eight is forty eight. Yeah. Sorry about that, my mistake was here. I wrote one two eight two five. Okay. Try this every day.